Great shot. Well, I appear to be quite the amazing pirate captain if I can pull this off. Come now, cannons. Ready yourselves. He's poising himself. Classic blunder! He's a sitting duck! Send him to Davy Jones' locker or raid the scoundrel for loot! Nothing more than a chihuahua! I do believe we have ourselves a ship ripe for the looting! Just need to slide on over here. Now then, a fight for the ages, and a fair one at that. None of this block my attacks with your sword nonsense, or shoot me when I'm not looking. Nothing but good old fashioned fisticuffs with swords and canes. A large diamond. Valuable. I'm a swabby! I've upgraded myself. That's the last of the Red Sail Sea Dog Clan. With them out of the way, we won't have to worry about a surprise attack or fight impossible odds when we raid Bloodbath Bay. Indeed! I do believe I'll get that health there. And then proceed on to the Crusher from the Depths. A mission I really do not like. Because let's be honest, it's shitty. It's a Panda King mission. Then there's this guy. You know what? I'm just going to end this quickly. I guess I can't end it as quickly as I'd like. Really? Game, give me a break. Fine, I'll swing around. How are you still alive? That'd be my question for you. Take that! Right, now then. Crushers that way, so it behooves me to face this way. Yes, I'd bet you like me to come aboard as a chance to slay me. See how benevolent I am. I didn't make him lose in front of his men. What a generous man I be, old Captain Tolkien. The most generous pirate on the seven seas and the eight oceans. Real pirates know there's eight of them, not just the far most people know. Atlantic, Pacific, Other Pacific, Indian, Asian, Arctic, the Fartic, and the secret ocean that we can't tell you about or else we'd have to kill you. Because we're pirates, you see. We have secret oceans that we plunder in. This is really most annoying. Dodging ships just so I don't get in a fight with them because it's a tedious process. I remain on this course and I'll reach my objective. Splendid. Hopefully none ships decide to cross my path. And I have a simply smooth journey. Uh, 
I appear to be on the right course. There she be, this artificial fog. These deep, misty waters are said to be home to the monster. Keep a sharp eye out. Sorry, Bentley, but I can't see a thing in this fog. If your sea monster's here, there's no way we'll find him. Well, it's imperative we track it down and discover why the pirates fear it so vehemently. Panda King, do you have any fireworks? Well, let's think it through there, Turtle. It's a sea monster named Crusher. They burst with ferocious beauty. I think we can determine exactly why it is. We should really get out of here. With this that the pirates this guy, don't like it too very the boat much. Might some real damage. Okay, now that's some real damage. The sea monster is upon us. Go below deck and placate the other. I will confront this creature with my firework artistry. Give a shout if you need any backup. I'll stand ready. So this part's relatively simple. Hit the tentacle. See? It's simple, really. It only requires one. It's round two that's a bit of a pain in the keister. Also, I think you can do this. Yeah. Cool stuff. Almost slipped back to my landlubber accent there. Almost! So, you now choose to face me. Behold the Panda King! Your master! Now I'm remembering, it's not round two. Round two is quite easy, as a matter of fact. It's round three that's a pain in the dick. Just be aware of that. I believe round four is fine, and round five is just playing a slide. Very simple, really. Oh, there it went. Hide beneath the waters. Hide from your better. The ship's getting pulled under. Round it's three. Over too far in either direction. We're as good as sunk. So where uh, this one works? Things are looking pretty bad down here. He's going to pull it under, and in order to stop it, you need to shoot the tentacles. As they're latching on, you see. You can also karate chop them to speed up the process. Oh my god! Stop it! It's a bad ship! That's unfortunate! I know, Sly! I hate this part for a reason, you know. Back in Nam, we were almost pulled under by a sea monster ourselves, you know. We called it a whirlpool. That's what those landlubbers called it, at least. I knew better, though. Too extreme for the boat. We're starting to breach. I think I pulled it off at the last second there. Round four. Yes, rise and let me punish you. Now it's just round two, but with the added nuisance of avoiding tentacles, as they may get in your way or try and smack you. Ow. You see. It helps if you can hit them with your fireworks. Makes them go down smooth, you know. Well, 
pass me that round. Ah. With my beautiful fireworks, I will. I. They are all gone. Cooper, your assistance is requested. I'm here. What's the score? Protect the vessel while I go below and hurriedly craft more fireworks. Sure thing. Never mind the ones on my vest, matey. Bentley, you check out that fight? Crusher must be on its last legs at this point. I mean, what could he have left? I'd say about another hundred feet and a dozen tentacles. Just a rough guess. Well, that be awkward. Now the relatively easy part. Smack the tentacles so that he is forced to draw himself in. And then fire! You got him. Keep it up. Fire like the fire that burns behind me on the ship. By the way, how are we going to repair this thing, Bentley? We only have the one, you know, and it's not insured. I told you to get the octopus monster insurance, but oh, you laughed at me like those boys in Nam did. Now who's the asshole who knew about the giant octopus, but didn't want to tell them because he thought it would be a surprise? Hey, Bentley! Seems like it's you! You're going to get the 40 men and 13 women, plus your best mate Kim Jill killed because of this. Not I this time, no, no. Maybe I'll tell you Nam one day. Actually, if memory serves, there's a story about me and Nam on my playthrough of Shank from many a moon ago. An interesting playthrough. I don't recommend watching it. It's terrible. But if you want Vietnam, go ahead and watch it. I believe I talk about it there. A grand battle that was. Worthy of the names King and Cooper. You really softened him up for me. That was a solid action reaction, bros. You two stand tall. Like cobras. Hey, guru, Arr. Did you get inside That's not very pirate. Like sharks. Arr. Arr. Like schooners. Good idea. But are you sure you can pull it off? Hey, Hi, Papa. But let's do it. Just take any precautions you can. What's he trying to do? Getting us a new ally out here in the sea. Hi, Baba Daha! Master! Don't leave us! Well, we appear to be down two crew members now. Most unfortunate. Thank you. Operation Reverse Double Cross. Our goal, as we all know, is to save Penelope. Given her crafty nature, Left We has undoubtedly locked her up in one of his most secure locations. They are one, the Skull Keep. And two, the brig of the Death's Head. Our team is too small to assault both simultaneously, so we'll have to fall back on a little slide of hand. First, we sail in and exchange broadsides with the Death's Head. Armed with the element of surprise and our cannon upgrades, it should be a fair fight. But remember, Penelope might be on board, so we cannot sink this ship. Once the mass fall, Sly should jump onto the enemy vessel and then promptly surrender. A necessary step for two reasons. First, that boat is packed with pirates. Way too many to fight hand to hand. And second, it's the best way to get an audience with Lefui. Given his smug nature, he's sure to brag where she's hidden if we can get him angry enough. Got that, Sly? Irritate the daylights out of this guy. It's our best and only chance to rescue Penelope. Once he talks, we roll out plan A or B, depending on the situation. This left we is a smart...
smart man. Our only hope is to outsmart him at his own game.